If you're like me and you have a Starlink dish in storage, maybe you use it sporadically or keep it as a backup, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this video because if your Starlink unit hasn't been powered on recently, you're gonna to wanna to do that. Starlink is sending out emails warning customers that they need to update their Starlink with a critical software update by November 17th, otherwise their dish may no longer function. I'm seeing a lot of questions and confusions on this whole deal, so I wanted to make a video, clear everything up, talk you through this, and let you know what's going on. Okay, so what is going on? Well, Starlink regularly makes changes and updates to their Starlink network. That includes the satellites, the customer terminals, the user terminals, and the ground stations, all of that. And part of that regular maintenance is upgrading things like security certificates or encryption keys, things of that nature. Now, Starlink in this case didn't specify exactly what the upgrade was, but something has updated on the Starlink network that requires all Starlink user terminals to have updated software, at least to a certain minimum level. Otherwise, they may no longer be able to access or communicate with Starlink satellites. And in this case, Starlink says that anybody on software update 2024.05.0 or older will absolutely need to update their software on their Starlink dish. Otherwise, they will lose access to be able to communicate with Starlink satellites on November 17th when they implement these changes. So basically, if you have not powered on your Starlink dish and allowed it to do a software update in the year 2025, then I highly recommend you look in and see what version your Starlink is on. Go ahead and plug it in outside so that it can do an automatic software update. This one though, they say anybody older than that, the version that I just listed, the 2024.05.0, you absolutely must update your software by November 17th, that cutoff date. Otherwise, your dish will no longer function. It will no longer, it'll be bricked, it'll be permanently disabled. You will not be able to update it if you don't, don't do so by November 17th. Let me show you how to check the software version of your Starlink. So you're gonna wanna open the Starlink app. You can be connected to your Starlink Wi-Fi, or you could be remote and check in on the Starlink app. Either way, go into the Starlink app, click on Advanced down at the bottom, and you will see under the section that's labeled Starlink, it'll list a software version there. You can see mine is at 2025.10.16, so this one is up to date. This is the one that's powered on all the time, so it continuously receives these automatic software updates. Okay, now who needs to update? How do you know about this? Well, Starlink is sending out emails to affected customers, but that doesn't reach everybody that is affected because if you have a Starlink kit that is not associated with an account, like if you bought it from Best Buy like two years ago as a backup and you just haven't used it, you haven't plugged it in, you haven't activated it on your account, then Starlink doesn't know that you own that dish and it's just sitting there in a box on a shelf and you're affected by this even though you may not get an email. So I highly recommend anybody with a, a Starlink dish in storage that they use sporadically, just go ahead and do yourself a favor and check this. But Starlink is sending out emails to customers that they know are affected with older Starlink dishes on their account. And there's actually two versions of this email going out depending on what software level that your dish is at. See, there was a time, there's a certain software level where they introduced the ability to sideload updates from a smartphone onto the Starlink dish. And depending on whether your dish currently has side loading capabilities or not, depends on which email you get. So Starlink units that are really old that don't have that side loading update, um, you get the critical email, the critical update email that basically says, if you don't plug in your Starlink outside and allow it to update by November 17th, it will no longer work. The other people, the other email is a little bit less ominous because it just basically says you have to plug in your Starlink, allow it to update, after uh, November 18th, you'll no longer be able to access the internet until, unless you finally do the update on your phone. Okay, so what do you do if you're affected by this and you need to update your Starlink? Well, it's really simple. You just really need to get your Starlink out, take it outside, plug it in, point it at the sky. It doesn't really matter if it's aligned or obstructed or not. It just needs to be able to communicate with the Starlink satellites and it will automatically download this update also. It doesn't matter if your service is active or if your dish is assigned to an account or you haven't paid your bill or whatever, it just doesn't matter. Inactive kits can still get Starlink software updates. Um, if you have suspended service or pause service, or if you're on standby mode, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is you plug it in outside, point it at the sky and allow it to connect to the satellites. It will automatically download the appropriate updates and apply them. Uh, go, you can connect to the Wi-Fi after 20 or 30 minutes of allowing the updates to download 
and go in there and manually initiate the update that will power cycle your Starlink. It'll refresh the version number and actually update it. And then you can put it back into storage. So I just wanna reiterate that again, you do not need to resume your service or activate service or add this to your account or anything like that in order to do this critical software update. All you have to do, plug it in outside and let it update. It takes about 15 to 30 minutes or so and then you can put it back into storage and not worry about it. Another question that I know that I will get about this, do you have to use a Starlink router to do this? Absolutely not. No, you don't have to have your router plugged in. You don't have to update the router software. The only thing that's important right now is the dish itself. So just plug in the dish, get it powered on. You don't need to make sure that your Starlink router is updated or anything like that, just the Starlink dish. So that's the whole critical update thing. And this kind of leads me into the next topic of this video, which is, this is why I really recommend that you regularly allow your Starlink software to update. You know, if you're like me, I have like several Starlink units that just sit on the shelf behind me for testing purposes or for camping or whatever. I'm just sporadically using them from time to time. So there's, in some cases, you know, it'll be a year or more before I actually use a Starlink dish. But what I always make sure to do and what I always recommend to people is that if you're not needing your Starlink full time, what you should do is get it out every six months or so, plug it in, allow it to do its software update thing, and then you can put it back into storage. That, that should be like your preventative maintenance, your regular maintenance that you do for your Starlink system, just to make sure you're never really affected by one of these critical update scenarios. Because a lot of people are gonna be affected by this and they can't really do anything about it. So I've been seeing comments online from people who Maybe they're traveling right now, maybe they're living in a different part of the world from their Starlink and they don't have any ability to come back and physically plug it in and get it updated. So there's gonna be a lot of people out there that have these older Starlink kits that are unable to do this update by November 17th. And if you're on that older software version, that 2024.05.0 or older, your Starlink dish will no longer work. You will no longer be able to update it when you do get home after November 17th. So I guess my next topic, would be, what do you do if you fall into that category? Well, Starlink says that you should create a support ticket and contact them. And I did actually see a post from somebody on Facebook who is in this situation where they're unable to get back to their Starlink dish by that November 17th cutoff to update it. And they reached out to support. Support told them that they would send them a new kit for free since they were affected by this issue and that their old unit would be effectively bricked and no longer be able to use. So it looks like support is working with people. So if you find yourself in this situation where uh, you're not gonna be able to make it back to your Starlink dish in the next couple of weeks, then don't worry. Starlink, it looks like we'll be working with you to replace that dish uh, for free or maybe a refurbished offer at a cheaper price. It just varies from case to case. So that's the major update issue that's going on right now. If you may have seen the email, you may have seen the social media posts, but that is what's going on. I hope I explained everything clearly. If you have any questions about this update or questions about updating your Starlink firmware in general, if I didn't answer anything, let me know in the comments below. I'll chat with you there. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.